There's something very important about Next 13 that Vercel didn't tell you. It's a annoying gotcha for us TypeScript fans that I think is important to know. Hopefully it'll be fixed soon, but for now, here's the problem. Here's how we're gonna solve it. One of the coolest things that came with Next 13 in the recent React RFC is the ability to have an async component that you can await things for directly. You can call any promise, await it, and then have the data that comes from that to render on the first pass of your application. So in this case, I'm fetching from a JSON placeholder API that gives me some mock data, in this case, a mock blog post that has a title and a body, and I have an async component that gets this data and returns the stuff. Pretty standard. If I go to the page, you can see I have pretty ugly formatting. It's straight from the default for the new Next uh, or Create Next app. I have the title and I have the blog post. But what happens if I make a component for this instead? See, I have here a blog post component in the components folder that's nearly identical. Actually, it is identical. But let's say I want to mount this here instead. I'm just going to replace this guy, kill all this code. I don't need the styles anymore. And I'm going to import this. But wait, there's a type error. Why is there a type error? This doesn't need any props. Blog post cannot be used as a JSX element. It returns promise element, not element. And JSX's type definitions in TypeScript do not allow you to return a promise within them. So because this component is async, we have to tell TypeScript, hey, don't worry about it. We're good. We got it. Because TypeScript doesn't believe that an async component can be mounted inside of a JSX blob. Thankfully, our good friend Malta is way ahead of us and has made an annoying, important helper here that you have wrap around your components. So what we'll do here is drop this type. And now if I look at this example, const blog post equals, and this has to be async. What we can do now is wrap that with this async component helper. Turn default or export default blog post. And now the type error goes away and everything still works as expected. This is a nasty hack because it is straight up overriding the type. It is lying to TypeScript saying, pretend this isn't actually unsafe. Pretend this isn't actually an async thing. Just ignore, ignore the promise. It literally just takes R, which is the type of what the promise returns and it returns that instead. Nasty, but necessary hack. Hope that this doesn't stop you from playing with the new async uh, component stuff or server-side components in general. This is a small growing pain and TypeScript should have these things fixed ASAP. But for now, make sure you know this as you start playing with these things. Otherwise you're gonna be accidentally writing code that is unsafe for no good reason. Hope this was helpful. Really excited about this release. Make sure you keep checking the channel for more, sub if you haven't, and you should be getting recommended a new video around here that is a lot more on topic and stuff that for some reason YouTube thinks you'll like, which means you'll probably like it. So give that a shot. Also, huge shout out Mir. He's been on the grind. He's doing exams in three days, yet he's still churning out these edits. So shout out to him for that. We have to tell TypeScript, hey, don't worry about it. We're good. We got it. 